I'm chewing on my candy. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of candy are you having? Lifesavers. Lifesavers. I buy the whole big family bag. I know like you that. do. Mm -hmm. And you're the only one that eats them. Well, yeah. <laughs> they last. They last. So you're the only one that eats them in the family. Yeah. But they saved my life many a time. Oh. Well, no. When you're thirsty sometimes. Hence you don't the name have Life Savers, I guess. Oh, yes. Of course. Yeah. Okay. All right. I have many life-saving uh, experiences in my lifetime. Many. Oh, my. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you going to share any with us or no? Well, I don't know. Maybe a few of my younger brothers... When they were small, I mean, oh. you know. All right. Well, let's see if we get anybody on here with us. Hey, everybody. It is Lee and Grandma Jean. Hello. From Gnome and Backyard. If you are on with us, say hello. Pamela Hankey, how are you, girl? And let's see. And another, and another Pam. Pam, ah, how are you? And Regina Markley is here. Teresa Sheldrick. Hi, gals. How's it going? Well, it is going. It is going. It's a Wednesday, right? So it's going for everybody, I'm sure. Yeah, guys, definitely make sure you give us a thumbs up or some hearts. Let us know you're here. Um, Debbie Baker, how are you? How are you? So, yeah, it's a hot one again. Let's see. Grandma Jean historian. <laughs> what? Grandma Jean is a historian. Oh, yeah. She's got lots of history under her oh, belt. You know, and almost 100 years worth. Almost. Oh, almost. <laughs> almost. Oh. Uh, let's see. Who else is on here? Alice. Hi, Alice. How are you? And Susan Berkey from Boston. Hello. Well, hello there. It's a hot one out there again, guys. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to go on about it. No, no. <clears throat> Miss O'Donnell, how are you today? We are well. How are you? Um, it's just a scorcher. It's like in the 90s again. Well, yes. It's well, a scorcher. Well, before you know it, it's going to be below zero. So let's enjoy what we have. I know. I didn't. I don't like that. Um, Wilma Bradsell, how are you? You are finally catching us live, and you did enjoy the farmer's market shopping. Oh, it was so much fun. Hi, Yvonne, how are you? And Leona Sourbeer, you're here again. You were here last night. I did a live. <laughs> I flew solo. I flew solo. If you watched my live last night, we made a little lantern gnome, and Grandma Jean left the house, and Gabby left the house, and nobody yeah, wanted and quiet. Right? Nobody wanted to hang with me last night, <laughs> so I hung with my gnomies, and we had a fun. Um, we had a fun. We did a fun live. So if you missed it, um, catch it. Just just scroll down. It's it's yesterday's post. Last night, I think around six o'clock. Might have been even six thirty. We did a live. Okay. Susan, how are you? Thank you for sprinkling. Um, oh, Diane, thank you so much for the stars. My goodness, thank you, Ruby. You got your Christmas tree order. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, where was the farmers market? The farmers market. We live in NEPA, Northeastern PA. Um, Joanne missed you last night, Grandma Jean. Oh, thank you very much. I'm glad somebody missed me. Our girl, Teresa Deitwick and Diane Bobley are on. I love it. I love it. Oh, who's 50th wedding anniversary, Diane? Yours? You're ready? You're going on a cruise to celebrate your 50th wedding anniversary Diane, to Alaska. I enjoy. Oh, my heavens. Uh, uh, enjoy. Oh, I wonder if that's the Diane that, um, uh, that I know. I mean, she. You know, I don't know. You know, lots of Diane's and right. Debbie's and Donna's and lots of. But, but lots I'm, of I'm wondering if she's from Northeast Pennsylvania because. Oh, I, no, 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 no! I don't no, think so. I don't think so. Just, well, but enjoy your enjoy cruise. your cruise. Happy anniversary! Could I tell you one thing? That Alaskan trip that we had was one of the most beautiful, beautiful trips. When my daughter invited us, I thought to myself, Alaska. What am I going to do in Alaska but freeze? There's nothing there. Oh, I really don't want to go, and she insisted. It was the best trip ever, so I know you're going to enjoy what, it. What's she going to do in Alaska? Let me see. She went dog sledding, okay? She went dog sledding. She went fly fishing. She went... Um, On a train ride. You, you did a train ride. I didn't do that. You did the train yes, ride. Yes, we did. Um, we you went on the uh, rainforest because believe it or not, they do have rainforest in Alaska. It's just a different type of rainforest, but oh, they yes. call it a rainforest. Uh, you went on um, the 
the bear scavenger hunt, the boat ride with the bears. Oh, okay. And we did see bears. Oh, yes, we did. Yes, um, we did. You did a lot, Alaska. You saw the glaciers. Oh, it was wonderful. You saw the cute little seals laying on top of the ice glaciers. Oh. It was great. So oh. have a good time, girl. Um, okay. Oh, more stars. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. Hey, Charlene, how are you? Charlene, girl, I'm putting you to work today because, as you can see, still no sign. We got a little closer. We added this sign. <laughs> Warning, what happens in this room stays in this room. We didn't get the sign to our website so you guys know where to go to shop. Oh, no, that's not of the utmost importance to us. Funny little signs like this are more important to us. So maybe someday before Christmas, I will have my sign up there. So, Charlene, girl, you post that link. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. But they do know where we are. <laughs> And we're not, you know, we're not, we don't even have fall up yet. We haven't had time. We don't have fall decor up yet. We still have some Christmas, some honeybees, well, some coffee Well, we just gnomes. got done with Christmas I know, in July. I know. It's, 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 August. The, it's August 2nd, right? Yes. Okay, so. Second. Well, let me check with my Fitbit. It, is it my on? Fitbit says it's August the 1st. So that means my Fitbit is two days behind. So when I figure it out, today is August the 3rd. Now, if you'd like to know what time it is, my Fitbit says... It's 3.30. If I have to figure it out, my Fitbit is an hour and 15 minutes ahead. So instead of 3.30, it'd be 2.30. It's a quarter after 2. Anything else you'd like to know with this Fitbit? Do you need a new Fitbit? No, I think it just has to be adjusted somehow. <laughs> oh, my. So, I mean, so is it telling me the truth that the other day I did over 3,000 and some steps? Or is probably, it probably. Oh, if it's okay. the day we walked at Farmer's Market, I bet okay. you did. Yeah, probably. I think Grandma needs a new Fitbit. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's quite a lot of math just to tell me what time it, or what the date was. Well, quite sorry. a lot of math. Okay. So, guys, craft we're going to work on today. We're going to show you um, what we added to the shop. What's up with the lamp base? Okay, so Angela, right? <laughs> Check this sucker out. Hold oh. on. I, I don't want to hurt anything. And it's heavy. Oh. Check this out. You guys, that is how super nice, right? Right, nice. It's a spindle. It's a spindle lamp that my neighbor was throwing oh, away. Lord. Oh, I could cry. I know. <laughs> I love it. I love it, Grandma Jean. I love it. She just, she needs a new one. She does need a new Fitbit. But, um, okay, guys, this, this is the inspiration for today's woodcraft. <laughs> Do you see this awesome, awesome, I don't want to hit the oh, spindle, it's awesome, right. yeah, floor it's, lamp it's sturdy. that my neighbors were throwing away. Oh, yeah. I think it'd be cool to do something with it. I just don't know what yet. <laughs> but check out the spindle, right? Really cool. So you guys know when she brings something home, I'll say, what, <laughs> what are you going to do with that? I don't, well, know, I don't know yet, but It's wait. in the garage. It's in the barn. It's in the shed. It's um, in my way. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Really? <laughs> um, it'd be cute. It'd be like cute to put a, a bird, a birdhouse on top of it, a nice big birdhouse on top of it oh, for the backyard. Yeah. There's yeah. lots of fun stuff. Anyway, spindles are popular right now, you guys. Spindles. Um, somebody loves a good dumpster dive. Angela, you love a good dumpster dive, right? Right? Yeah. And especially, <laughs> it's so much better when my neighbors just stick it out on the curb and put a little sign next to it and say, do not take for Lee. This is for Lee. Do not take. <laughs> I passed out signs to them in their minute. No, I didn't. I didn't do that. But, but it's better when it's just sitting there on the curb. No dumpster dive, and it's just right there. So I love it. Spindles are the hot ticket right now in crafting. Karen Jacobs, we are doing good. How are you and that sweet son of yours? So a couple examples. Really cute, right? Cute little wooden spindles. Lots of different shapes. Really fun. Your husband is ready to kill you with the dumpster finds. <laughs> Angela, oh my. You, well, my husband probably doesn't know about this one, and I try and hide them. Um, look at look at the cute spindles, you guys. Wooden spindles. Hey, ladies, got my stuff like today. Thank you for everything. Who was that? Christine Romeo. Wonderful. We love it. Um, look at cute spindles, guys. Really cute. Spindle, oh, who said the spindle pumpkins are amazing? Pam, Pam, yep, the spindle pumpkins, adorable. Now, there's spindle trees, too, but that's for Christmas, and right now we want to get back to fall. Look at how cute these are. 
Look at how cute these are. They're adorable. Oh, Christine, you are welcome. We're so glad you love all of your things. Okay, so spindles. We're cutting spindles on the laser cutter. We are cutting spindles. Love you too. You are the true meaning of family. Oh, Marsha, thank you. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Marsha said we are the true like meaning of family. Oh, yes. Of course we are. <laughs> okay. So, you guys, we have two spindle pumpkins that we put into the shop for this week. We just we only put four items, well, six items, but pumpkins and then some napkins. So, here is the first spindle pumpkin. I'm just showing you this so you can see um see all the designs. Oh, Angela got a spatula, a gnome spatula today. I love it. Uh, what are we making? We are um, doing our spindle pumpkins, and we have two different shapes. We have a short, fat one. We have a short, fat one here, and he's not that short. He is about, I want to say about 10 inches. Um, he might be 10 inches wide. I, I, I'll just, I see the tape measure over there. And then we have a tall spindle pumpkin. Okay, and all the spindles are different. Every single spindle, I think this one has 11, this one has 10. So 21 different shapes of spindles. Yeah, that is, there is a, oh, how nice. You wanna flip it again, Graham, and, and show them? And they're, the they're all different. Right. The styles are all different, how cool is that? Right, so like this pumpkin, the tall pumpkin is, yeah, he's, he's 11 inches tall. And about eight inches wide, and of course the piece of wood it's on is bigger. And then the shorter pumpkin is about nine and a half inches tall and about ten inches or nine and a half inches wide. Why um, do you measure everything? Well, so they know they know what they're getting if they oh. um, want to purchase it. Oh, okay. You know, it's not, I don't want them to think they're getting, ooh, surprise, surprise, a small <laughs> pumpkin like this oh. when they're getting the makings for oh. a larger pumpkin like this. Oh. This isn't on the shop yet, but this is one, this is something we're working on, right? So ooh. that's why, you know how I have trouble with, like, depth, like, oh, gosh. like you visualizing don't it. Worse trouble than me. Yeah, we're both, we're not good at, like, no. I have to see the finished product. I have to see it to know how big it is. So I don't want them to think this is a little tiny pumpkin because it's oh, not. Oh, okay. So that's why I measure No, it's a nice size. And we put all the measurements on our website. Oh, okay. Because you don't want to buy. You don't, You want to know what you're buying. Well, yes. Right? Oh, and God forbid, you got to let everybody know. You're supposed to smuggle certain things into the house. Definitely, Shirlene, 100%. I agree with you. So, okay. Here we go. We did one already. We did one already. Oh, and here cool it is. is that? Christine, that you is... like the short fat one. Well, this is the short fat one. So we did one already, and we'll we'll take you through the steps that we did to make it, to craft it, um, because it would just take way too long to do it uh, live. So this one, this was my choice. Um, Grandma Jean picked the tall pumpkin. I picked the short pumpkin. This is, oh, Karen, you have pavement, pa pavement dive and, and dumpster dive. Ooh, yeah, pavement <laughs> dive, right? When it's just sitting there. Oh, I love that. I love that. That's a good idea. I love that. Um, so this, this was my choice. All right. So the sets that are on the website, you can purchase just the spindles. You could get just the spindles and you get the little stem and the leaf and then the little hang tag sign. Now this is, we're calling this one the fall pumpkin. The hang tag is a, says fall on it. You can purchase just the spindles and all the pieces, you know, loose like this. And then you go find your own backer that you want to put it on. That's fine. That That is good. Um, you know, you could use a picture frame. Um, whatever you want, you can do that, which I think Kat, if you're on here, Kat bought the short one and the tall one today, and she just bought the spindles. Um, then on, like, the, the spindle set separate, but then on the website, want to hand me that one again? Sure. Um, I also have it where you can get the backer board plus all the pieces. 
So, and the backer board, I'm sure I, I ordered the short pumpkin. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I've had, it's been, we, we actually, it, it got up on the website yesterday and I, it's been even like, um, half the people bought and everybody's buying both of them though. Like a lot of people are buying both of them, but they're buying half the people are buying them with the backer board and half the people are buying them without the backer board. So it's your choice. Um, on the backer board, it's like you get the little diagram of where to put all the pieces. Okay. So, um, and we just have to charge a little bit more money. Obviously, if you're getting the backer board with it, um, because the cost of the wood that we use has tripled. No word of lies since we started yeah. this. We'll be doing this a, a year in November. Yeah. So we're not even up and running a year with our with our wood cuttings, but the cost of the wood, because we use a nice Baltic birch, one eighth inch, has tripled in cost. And I have not raised our prices. Um, I think I had to raise our prices on one item, but um, I have not raised our prices. Um, so yeah, so you can get it with the board where it shows you where to place everything and then just put your leaf and your hand tag, hang tag wherever you want. Or you can get it separately. I wanted to offer that to everybody separately with just the pieces and then you put it on whatever backer you want to do. Um, so for Mayan, I wanted the, um, the natural wood look because my family room is all wood and redwood and things like that. So all I did for my spindles, you guys, look how pretty they are. And see how you see the designs like right through? Um, you see all the little spindle designs right through there. So for Mayan, I just use the wax. I just use the home decor wax on Mayan. Hi, Jamie. Says that, how are you? Um, wood is awful. Yeah, it, it, with the cost of wood, it's terrible. But, you know, we're, we're in this for the long haul and we're going to stick with you and we hope you guys stick with us. So that's why we, you know, we really haven't gone crazy raising our prices. Shipping even went up. Shipping went up. Um, and you know, at Noman Backyard, you get free shipping within the continental United States every day. So, um, all I did was I just took my, my home, um, decor wax. I just rubbed it on with a sponge and then just wiped it off to uh, make it a little bit lighter. And then I just took my sanding block. I just took a sanding block and I just sanded every piece so that see you can get the sanded worn look. That's the look I wanted around the edges. Um, the sanded worn look. It's the same thing with my tag. I wanted it to look worn out. So um, I just sanded it with a sand block. Yes, dumpster diving and pavement diving. I love it. I love it, Karen. I love it. Um, and then, you know, my leaf, I did the same thing. I just took the same. Oh, you can see on my finger there. <laughs> I just took the same color that would sort of match what was in my bow and just put some of that on, put a little bit of the wood, the brown wax um, in the middle and on top and then sanded that also. And then we just put a cute little bow on the side and we hung our fall hang tag off of our bow. Um, some really pretty fall colors with the green and the burlap and then the little pumpkins. So this was Mayan, and this is on the backer. Now for the backer, let me show them. Oh, Grandma, look at you. Yeah, all the pieces oh, aren't there. Me. I'm putting you're, a, you're putting I'm putting a puzzle together. together. She's putting a puzzle yeah. together. I love it. So oh, cool this was the color of the wood backer before. Um, this is the color of the wood backer before. And so what I did... You can see it's actually, uh, you can see where it's distressed. You see how it's distressed, it's not solid. We have a lot of right in through here. Um, in the middle, I made sure I like actually distressed the whole thing, even though I knew I'd be putting these spindles on here on the sides. So all I actually did was, I didn't have to paint my board. What I originally wanted to do, and maybe you guys can help me out, Joyce Crowder, you love it. Thank you. I wanted my board to be crackle. And that didn't work out so well. I'm not good with crackle. If you guys know anything about crackle, please shoot me some, some input on crackle. What I thought I was supposed to do with my crackle, because I've done different crackle and it never works for me. I had originally painted my board 
um, like a plaster color. I let my paint dry and I made sure when I was putting it on that I did, you know, put it on a little bit lighter in the middle here so I could still see uh, this right through. So I had painted it plaster. So this board is actually painted plaster. Then I put my Mod Podge crackle on which you now there it is over there i i don't know guys i couldn't get it to work i put my mod podge crackle on oh i, I never, love this this is really the, cool. it, I, I like the way the board did end up but yes. it's not what i was originally going with oh. so like you fake it till you make it and that's what we did oh so painted it plaster color then i read my directions and i used this mod podge crackle that i bought at Joann's because it was on sale. It was like 60% off. And I thought, ooh, that'll be nice, Mod Pod Crackle. Um, oh, the glue gun, yeah, I'll have to read up on that. So when my paint was dry, I put my, put my crackle on. It said, go in one direction, give it a light coat, don't give it two coats, it'll dry in an hour and it'll start to crackle. Well, an hour, no crackle, two hours, no crackle, three hours, no crackle. So I said, okay, we're going live soon. So it's not going to be a crackle background. Um, <laughs> yeah, so then all I did was I took my sand block again and actually just sanded uh, the top of my board off because it had like that Mod Podge um, look to it. So I just sanded it and then I took my trusty wax my home decor wax again and just dry brush took a brush dipped it in the wax then dipped it off on a paper towel and then just did my nice long strokes as my pumpkins upside down yeah did my nice long um my nice long strokes here with the with the dry brushing so i'll post a picture so you guys can see it better in a photo but yeah you could definitely see see the the difference here so that I like it. I really oh, I, like it. You know what? I, I really like it, too. I was looking for crackle, but we didn't get no crackle, and that's okay. And then I just really sanded it again. So, guys, just, you know, just try different techniques and have a lot of fun. So, this is the one that I made. I like it. I like it, too. I think it's really pretty. I mean, you've got to see it up close. It'll really. go with anything I and everything. It. it really will go with anything and everything. So, then... Grandma Jean wanted hers to pop, right? Is that what yes, you told me? Yes, exactly. What did you say? You said you wanted to to really pop and oh, well, be yeah to stand out, be bright and, and stand out. Yes, that's what I wanted. And you also told me pumpkins are orange. Well, oh yes, different shades of orange. Well, yes, pumpkins are white too, and we know that. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean uh, today they're purple, they're green. They're uh, people well buy them that color, right? Right. But out in out in the uh, pumpkin patch, yeah, they're in the country little, when you were growing up, you yes, said they were all different shades, colors, different shades, different shades. sizes. Oh, absolutely! I yeah. remember when we went to the uh, uh, the pumpkin patch with my my brothers, and of course, one was would come back with a pumpkin. And he'd look at his brothers and say, oh, his is bigger than mine. Wait, I'm not ready to go yet. And he'd run back to the pumpkin patch to get a bigger pumpkin than his younger brother. Well, in the meantime, the younger brother says, <laughs> oh, he's going to get a bigger pumpkin than me. Wait, I'm not ready to go yet. And it took forever for the two of them to get pumpkins because one couldn't be bigger than the other. Oh. <laughs> I love it. So Grandma Jean throw, chose three different shades of orange. Um, this would actually look really nice as a white pumpkin, too. If it well, was white yeah, and then and then, the little, and then like sanded it off to make it look, with, that would look with, pretty too. With a little bit of um, cream color. Yeah, not, yeah. Not right, no, not white, 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 no, white but like the, the cream. Yeah. That would really look pretty. Okay, Grandma Jean picked three colors of orange. Oh, Julie Southward loves your stories, Grandma. Oh, I, and I, I mean, should we do the disclaimer that it probably wasn't a real pumpkin patch like they have now? It was like a farmer's field. Oh, well, and oh, you were, were calling it a pumpkin patch. And oh. you probably, you know, went and Got, oh, well, no, the pumpkin your, patches today. They the have, farmer said, come on over and get some pumpkins. Oh, oh yes. Well, <laughs> today, uh, the uh, uh, pumpkin patches are different. They're designed as an entertainment uh, for the young children. Years ago, we just had pumpkins in the field and anything else that grew in the field. 
So you just ran around and tried to get a pumpkin that was bigger than your brother's. That was it. <laughs> All right, so we started Grandma Jean's, you guys. We painted all of her spindles. Well, she painted all of her spindles. Um, and she did use three different shades of orange. And I think you could see it pretty good there on the on the um, camera. This is the one shade of orange. And then this is the dip, uh, second shade. And then this is a lighter shade. And look how pretty the designs show right through. Like, look at this one. I love this one. Look how pretty. Even this one that's a little bit darker... Um, so look how pretty all of the designs are showing through on the spindles. So grandma, oh, who said that's pretty? Renee, thank you. I wanted to show the different colors of orange for the fall. Right. And then, um, so grandma chose a pale green background. I think it was willow. This was the color willow. Willow, yeah. So again, this is the board, but you don't have to, if you're thinking of getting this, you don't have to get the one with the board. But I did want to show you how you see the outline still, um, even though we already painted the board. So Grandma Jean painted her board willow, and it's a very light shade of green. I'm sure it's a little difficult to see. Grandma Jean, need to write a book of her life. Would love to read it. Aw, <laughs> Alice. Oh, there are so many stories. Oh. Alice, just come on over for a week. You can, you, can, you can hang out with Grandma for a week, and she'll tell you all the oh, stories. We, we used to go uh, down the, the creek. You know, I, I sometimes I'll say things, and people will look at me and say, what is she talking about? But I'm using the words that we used when I was a child. And I mean, I'm 92 instead of now. Crick. Yeah, Creek. instead of, yeah, it was, let's go over to the creek. Or if you were Creek. Repound, uh, if you were replanting a pot, you'd say, make sure you pank it down. And everybody's looking to say, what do you mean, pank? What's a pank? Well, pank it down, push it down. So some of, there's some of the things that we said years ago that people today look kind of funny when you say them. Yeah, that's just what look I at think. them funny too. Just smile. Just wink at them. They'll really <laughs> think something. They look at you funny. Just smile and wink at them. Then they'll really wonder what you, what you got going on. Hi, Gina Dowd. How are you? I'm um, Patricia. You love the oranges. Okay, yeah, I love the oranges too. Look how pretty they are. So um, pale green background, and then we didn't like it just solid like that. So I took my I took my wax, my home decor wax, and just I dry brushed it like right across the whole thing. Um, so we'll get into all the nooks and crannies just to give it a little bit more a of a wooden look, look right? Okay, but let's actually, glue these no, on. I really wanted to use the, the base board because um, sometimes when you're trying to put things down, uh, you might not line them up right, I, especially me. Well, and if you do this project, um, put all your pieces. See, I have to be even careful when I'm gluing them on. Put all your pieces um, on the board first because some there's like one way, you know, like you could flip it around. So yeah. put all your pieces down Make first. Make sure they match the outline. If you're going to paint them, then just shift them over to the side and then you could slide them back because if it's turned the opposite way, it won't fit on the... Um, the little border properly and you'd be like, ah, oh, Lee cut this wrong. No, Lee didn't cut it wrong. <laughs> you got to flip it around. So, um, that's why I wanted to use the board because I wanted yeah. to make sure I had the right shape, uh, that I wanted. Yeah. But you, you, again, you do your own thing. Oh, well, definitely you can use any kind of, uh, I mean, I recommend standing up when you're gluing these pieces on to just to, you know, make oh, sure yes. you do have them exactly where you want them. This is so pretty. These oranges are gorgeous. And, and I, I love them on the, on the green background. Yeah, I love these oranges. These are great. I love them. You know, fall is full of colors. I mean, we get our reds, our oranges, and especially the pumpkins are different. Sometimes the sun hits them a different way and they... Well, that really stands out with the, with the different oh, shades. Oh, I and love the, it. Yes, and the different spindles. Yeah. If they were all the same, it wouldn't look this good. So I now here's, here's where the discussion comes in, you guys, because we can never decide 100% where we want to put everything. So, like for ours, with the, we put the leaf um, on this side and we put the little fall hang tag on our bow. That's and, perfect. Okay, but we don't want to do it exactly the same. Oh, so, no. 
Um, in our leaf, we just painted our leaf a uh, little, uh, two different shades of green that sort of um, stood out and were darker than, were darker than the green background here. So we could put our leaf on this side. We could put our leaf on this side. I mean, you guys can do whatever you want. Hi, Wanda McGuire. How are you? Um, I think when we were looking at it, we said maybe the leaf looks good there. Yeah. And then we made ourselves a little raffia bow. We just had some green, orange, and brown raffia. So we tied some twine around it. And we were thinking of maybe doing that. Yes. So why don't I glue those down? Because this is definitely, we wanted to definitely do that, right? Yeah. We definitely because then to do that. we said we could either, we'll just show them. They what can either say? harvest. Oh, okay. You have the harvest pumpkin. I have the fall pumpkin. Oh. So we could either, I'll show oh, them okay. what the green tag would look like right there. And this like stands out and I gives it dimension. Right or there. they can just put it right over I here. Don't, I don't think I want to. I don't want to, covering my spindles. <laughs> okay, let me get your leaf on first. Okay, let's see, who else is here? Lynn Santos, how are you? How are you? Um, yeah, so we, we didn't put too much up in the shop yet regarding our Halloween or our fall. I did show you guys a little, a little sneak peek at one thing. I'm going to show you a little sneak peek at something else. Okay, okay. I don't know about you, but I could see a gnome underneath this. So here's sneak peek number two for the day. Now those aren't in the shop yet. Um, this is our tester wood. We test everything out on our bad wood, call it bad wood, tester wood first. Um, so that is our that is our tester. That is our tester wood. I Okay, so where did you want to put the harvest sign? Where did well, you let's show them. Let's just thing? show them two options, all right? All right. And then we'll put it wherever you want. Okay. Let's just show them two options. Well, that, yeah, they help us to decide sometimes what we're doing here. All the time. All the time, your, not sometimes. We appreciate your input. We really all the do. Time. Maybe the bow would be nice on the tag. Teresa, yes, the bow would be nice on the tag, and I just talk looted to the pumpkin. So, yeah. and Teresa, guess what? I had it underneath the that's, tag. That, that's I know, but yes. just I'm just trying to do something a little different than this one. Like we left this one. I'm just trying to do a little different. Oh, okay. Just a little different. <laughs> Thanks, Teresa. Yeah. Uh, Teresa Hall, hello. How are you? Oh, let me see. Somebody watched your uh, funnel cake. Lynn, um, uh, you loved watching Grandma Jean and Gabby making the funnel cake. It was delicious. If you missed they, that video, it was yesterday. They were very good, yes. It was very good. Um, we're used to getting them at the pic picnics and the fairs, and we haven't been to any picnics or fairs. We went to one picnic, but they didn't have funnel cake. Um, so uh, They're easy to make. You, know, you yeah. just have to stand there and flip them over. and uh, Yeah. Uh, put your powdered sugar on them. They're very good. So if you missed that quick video, I think it was like a six-minute video. Gabby and Grandma Jean made funnel cake. They'll show you how. Just scroll down, and you can catch that pre-recorded video um, from yesterday. Okay, I I, I hot glued my little raffia bow to the top of my um, pumpkin sitting right below the stem, and then there's our little leaf. Um, but look how I love, look at the orange, guys. Look at the different shades of orange. And what I was thinking was, originally, I actually wanted to do a blue one. A blue oh, blue Tanya, blue. David, we love you too, sweetheart. We love you. Aw, oh, and Jill Daniel, hello. I, yeah, because um, the turquoises, that's why I pulled out these three oh, colors. I oh. thought, well, when somebody has like a favorite color. Oh, definitely, yes. Um, and turquoise yes. was popular last year with the, with the fall stuff. I don't know if it's popular again this year, but who cares if it is or not, if it's your favorite color. Oh, definitely. Um, I had picked like three shades, Atlantis and... I don't know what shade this is, but I, and then a softer blue, but I thought like three shades of the, the turquoise, um, for you turquoise lovers, how cool would that pumpkin be in the three shades of turquoise? Oh. I don't know if Teresa Neal is watching. I know Teresa, um, oh, Ruth Ann Ryan says the funnel cake was delicious oh, or what nice. the video was awesome. Oh, and, okay. uh, Linda Zimmer says she loves the orange and, yes. um, so does Karen, and so does Julie. Oh, you have glass you. pumpkins in all colors. Yeah. Oh, so definitely. Like, I know Teresa's favorite color is purple. I mean, she could do hers in three shades of purple. Oh, it definitely. It doesn't four shades. Yes. It doesn't matter. Yes. Um, 
Oh, Terry Doyle is the is the turquoise your favorite color? I really thought it would look really pretty, and then maybe because of the blue, maybe take the sanding block and sand it, you know, sand over it and give it that worn out look so that it's not a distressed like, look, so to speak. Yeah, distressed look. Yeah, on the blue, um, green pump, whatever color you want. But yeah, so the orange does look pretty. The orange is traditional. That does look really pretty. And I, I'm liking our little bow and our leaf. So now the last thing for this one is the taller pumpkin is our harvest pumpkin and the shorter pumpkin is our fall pumpkin. So if you do happen to place an order, just eyeball them first to make sure you're getting the one that you want. Um, but like I so said, lots of folks bought both of them because they would, I think they actually would look really nice as a set. Um, and you could do them in the same color theme, but they would look really nice on your mantle, on your shelf. I mean, I like and, them as shelf sitters. And what I'm looking at right now is there is a difference in the spindles on both of them. Yeah, every, all 21 spindles are different. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, all yes. 20, there's no two that are exactly alike. No. No. That, that, that's amazing. Every, yes. every 21 spindles are different. Yeah, so, that's, that's um, amazing. Now so, I'll put my harvest sign. <laughs> and like I said, they come with the backer or they come without the backer. So that we want to give you that option, right? Thank you so much for the stars. We appreciate it. Um, can you put a link for ordering, please? Liz King, um, we will put a link for ordering. My girlfriend Charlene has been popping a link in there. Um, will you have them for a while? We will have them for a while, definitely. Um, I cut some this morning. I don't know how many sold between yesterday and today. We will have them for a while, most definitely. Um, so, okay, Harvest Tag and, uh, oh, Miss McKinnish, you love seeing us grow. Oh, well, thank you. We love growing with you. Everybody's loving the, the orange. I do. The orange, I do love the orange. So, our Harvest Tag, I see you shaking your head <laughs> Did you I, see I, me I already? Finish. I'm just going to show them. So, guys... One option, I say the word option, is we can hang our little harvest tag right off of the pumpkin. I mean, you would put a little, if you're going to put it permanently, you would put a little bit of glue maybe right there. So, I mean, that looks really cute. Um, Let me see. Mm -hmm. That looks really cute. Uh -huh. Because it's giving it, it's not just... Bam, the flat pumpkin. It's giving it a little bit of... Oh, well, we never have anything yeah. bam flat around <laughs> here. Everything has to be a dimensional. Uh, oh, Angela, you love them, right? So, okay, guys, this looks really nice. I like it hanging. Um, I like it hanging off my pumpkin. Um, Teresa Hall. Teresa Hall. Um, I don't do any crafting, but enjoy watching your videos. You have some great ideas. Teresa, we're thrilled that you um, love watching us and, and join us all the time. We love it. One um, of these days you're going to pick it up and say, I'm going to try that, what they're making, and you will be a crafter too. Wait and see. I see somebody Even asking. for yourself, your own enjoyment. Oh, definitely. Uh, about baseball shirts. Um, no, so when we originally started out, we were getting all of our... Well, we still do anyway. All of our shirts from a, su a supplier, okay, from from a, a wholesaler. Um, so no, I, I to my knowledge, I can't get my hands on any more baseball shirts. Um, so what we currently have these uh, we have find joy in the journey shirts. We have a really pretty teal blue that's really pretty um, for fall, and it is short sleeve that says classy and crafty. And now they, they go from small up to 3X. And then we have our gnome and backyard uh, shirt with our logo and a really cute gnome on it. And they go from small to 3X. Um, but that, so these we actually got from another set of crafters that focus, I shouldn't say crafters, but um, small business women who, who focus uh, on doing this. So we're trying to support their business. Um, but I don't see any baseball teas coming our way whatever we have in the shop is what we have so and i tried to put everything on sale that there weren't much sizes left in um this is such a unique pumpkin have a nice day or very nice have never seen one like this before oh yvonne okay so we have the tag right there or we could just put the tag we don't even have to have the 
twine on it. We could just You don't like that. And it, well, it's your any thoughts? Well, I or we, you could just put your little harvest tag right off to the side. It looks cute either way. Either way, it looks cute. I just don't want to hide all my orange spindles. I know you all. don't. I know you don't. I mean, let me see again. Well, that that is cute. Let's let's just lift them up a little bit this way. Okay, I'll, I mean, I'll meet you halfway. Oh, okay. Just I like so that. You don't, I'll meet just you so halfway. Just don't let it hang down. I don't want to hang them down. Okay, I like that. I like what you did. You just I put like it right that. there. Okay. Oh, okay. I Grandma like Jean has decided, everyone. Um, she is going to use her hang tag right up there, and I, I do think it looks it looks good there because it sort of offsets. It's not yeah. just the oval okay. pumpkin. You have yeah, this it's coming not off just to the sticking, side. Yeah, it's not just sticking up there in the corner. Okay, can I get the glue? Uh, yeah. All right. As long as you don't cover too many spindles. <laughs> that looks nice. That looks nice. Yeah. All right. Let's. I'll just put glue right here so I know not to cover. Okay. I just love it. I just love the designs on the spindles. Once you um, uh, just paint over them very lightly so that you can see that design coming right at you. I love Thank it. Thank you for saying that. Oh, yes. Are you happy with it there? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, so when you're painting these up, guys, um, because oh, of yes. all of the little delicate work to them, um, don't have a heavy hand with your paint. Just have a light hand with your paint. Because you want to see the design on every one of these spindles. And I mean, you could choose lighter colors, too. Um, you know, lighter shades of your favorite colors. Uh, but just, if you, nice and thin, nice and thin. Patty. Because you want to see that. You want to see that design come through your paint. Patty, I have a question for you. I need to message you a little bit later on. My neighbor Patty is on. Did you leave something in my mailbox? Um, cause somebody did <laughs> and I'm hoping it was you, <laughs> um, or maybe Rosemary up the street. So Patty, I'm messaging you later. Did you leave something in my mailbox? Um, there, I like that now. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. And I might have to trim our bow back a little. I think you could see the word harvest. Um, yeah, so there we go. So here's yours. You hold yours. Oh yes. Here's mine. I have the I have the short fat one. I have the short fat hey, one I did. Hey. And grandma has the tall <laughs> She has the tall skinny one. Here, put it down here. We'll let them see them side by side, the different oh, sizes. Okay. Um Patty, you did. Okay. <laughs> Patty, thank you so much. That was so sweet. Um, friend and follower Patty left me uh, an adorable sign. She said she thought of me when she saw it. It's really cute. It has a gnome, a patriotic gnome on one side. And then when you flip it over, I don't remember the saying exactly. Patty, maybe you remember the saying. Um, is it something about walking barefoot, maybe? Oh, yeah. If you're walking, it's something about walking barefoot, you're not fully dressed or something. If you're not walking barefoot, then you aren't fully dressed. Something yeah. along you that line. You remember that? Something like that. I have a good memory. <laughs> you do have a good I memory. I mean, because I'm always barefoot, so I'm uh, you do have I'm a good always memory. dressed. Thank you. That was really sweet. Thank you so much. Um, okay, want to show you one or two more things that are coming your way. All right, we're going to try and have a fall Halloween launch next week. All right, we're going to try for next week. Uh, well, it's going to happen next week. But um, So you guys, you loved our bag of bees that we had. Yes. Then you loved our stars, which we're still oh, seeing. Oh, they love the stars. Because we're still cutting our bag of stars. You guys asked me for acorns. You guys asked me for acorns. Could I do some uh, bags of acorns? So we're going to add bags of acorns to the shop in probably about five different sizes. Look at this cutie, though. There's a big one. Here's a medium one. Here's a smaller one, and I think there actually might even be another design. So there's another little teaser for our fall launch. Oh, well, I'll show you one more teaser. This, I'll show you one more teaser. This guy is cute. He's a cutie. I'm probably, he's probably going to fall apart, but, because he's not glued together. Could you see? He's a ghost. Okay, his little eye fell out. 
He's a ghost. He's a little ghost. He, he has glasses. His little hands are holding the sign boo. Well, there's a whole ghost family coming your way. An entire little ghost family uh, coming your way, and they are adorable. Absolutely yes, love are. them. One more thing. You know what I was going to show them? You know what, guys? How cute would this even be if you don't want to use it as a shelf sitter um, or on your mantle or something? If you want to hang it. Just grab some wooden beads. Now, I would loosen this up. I probably, I wouldn't have this many wooden beads, but these were from Dollar Tree, um, and they're a little bit square in shape. They're almost like the, sh you know, the shape of a pumpkin. Um, you could, you could make the tag purple. You could make the tag purple, most definitely, but how cute. If you want to hang these, get yourself um, some beads and just, you know, hot glue Hot glue your beads to the back, and you can use this as a door hanger. I want to hang mine. You do? Okay. Well, yep. not now, but we will no, do it when we're no, done. We're, we're, but guys, so you can even just put some beads, round beads, these cute little square beads. Um, I had this laying around, so I thought of it. We'll loosen the strand up a little bit, Grandma Jean, but you could make a really cute little, um, little hanger. And you can paint your beads. Right, you could paint oh, your definitely. beads. You could paint them orange. You could paint them the, the wood color brown. You could paint them the light green. So you could paint your beads, and you could actually even have a door hanger. So think but, about but that's that. That's just too. what I was going to say. Yes. Yeah. Think about that too. Okay. So we have a few minutes left. So oh. I do think we should show them the fall napkin assortment real quick. Oh, okay. And the Halloween napkin assortment real All quick. All right. Um, One, two, three, very Christmas fast. napkins are not out in your stores yet. However, they are in Gnome and Backyard. So we did put out <laughs> our Christmas, we did, we put out our Christmas napkin assortment about two weeks ago. It's a limited quantity and you guys are buying them up. We do they, have some left. They asked for it. They, they did ask They asked us to put that Christmas in July and thank you very much. You're enjoying it and we enjoy doing it for you. So if you're looking for Christmas napkins, we have them. Stop on the website and check that out. Now, uh, we have a really pretty fall assortment. We're going to just show you real quick. Okay. There's 20 napkins in the assortment. Free shipping within the continental United States every day. And you get 20, 20 napkins for $20. Okay, and that includes your shipping. Um, and all the napkins are multi-printed, right? So what kind of flower did you tell me this was? That's a Chrissy Anthemum. A Chrissy Anthemum. Look how pretty this is, you guys. Look at the all, fall colors. Every fall, they're out blooming. Fall colors, so you get like two different patterns here um, twice. So real cute. Now these are all two and three ply napkins. I love this one. Look at this one. Fresh, uh, locally grown, fresh picked pumpkins, apples and pumpkins, cider and hay rides. Shop local. I love that. Shop local. And that's what we did the other day when we took you to the farmers market. We shopped local and got cider. We had tomatoes. We had wax springs, um, a corn. Oh my gosh, we bought just about everything they had. We did. They're going to love this one. Happy fall, y'all, with these gnomes, you guys. <laughs> I love that. We have the little girl gnome and the little boy gnome. There's pumpkins, sunflowers, fall leaves. How adorable are these? And again, uh, you get this print four times on there. So really, really cute. I love Happy that one. Happy fall, y'all. I'm going to show them another gnome. Okay. How about this sunflower gnome? If, I know a lot of you love sunflowers like I do. So there's this really pretty yellow and browns and tans, and it's just full of gnomes um, holding sunflowers. The entire thing is covered. Well, we have sunflowers in our yard blooming, and we, we do. do have the gnomes in the yard. More sunflowers, and of course, the black and white plaid. We love that. So this is a fun one, and again... You're getting that four times. So there's lots of lots of nice things you could do with these. Oh, we have definitely. we have ideas for crafting with these. We just didn't have time to do it yet. Well, we can't get everything done. Be kind. We love this one. Be kind. And again, all the fall and again, sunflowers, sunflowers, sunflowers. Where is it? There it is. Sunflowers and you get it four times. Of course, it won't be fall without the Hello Fall truck oh, with the course. pumpkins in the back. And see, now he is like a, a teal, bluish color truck with some bluish color pumpkins in him, too. So really cute. I like the border down here also. Shirlene says, very pretty napkins. Thank you, Shirlene. <gasps> Guys, look at this one with the gnomes. Loving this one. It almost matches. Where's that other gnome one? You could really, I mean, you can do something. This is an all-over print. How fun is this? And again, he's got sunflowers. He's got pumpkins. He's got a blue hat, a uh, orange yeah. hat, a burgundy hat. So you could actually do something really fun 
with these. You like, got it all for the fall. You can make, um, you know, like signs and everything. Oh, you yes. You got it all for the fall. I do. You got Leave those it up all. to the side because I think there might be one more gnome one that matches. Like, I might be wrong for though. The fall. But this one is great because it's the it's the entire <laughs> <laughs> it's the entire sheet. So you can make some really fun um, signs on the wood, on pumpkins. You can pumpkin cut out and do these on there. And we know that if you're a Leave craft, that over there because I think we know that. Oh if, yeah. If you're a crafter, you're you're going to start getting anxious now. To get a head start on your crafts. We have a cute pumpkin patch one. Welcome to the pumpkin patch. This is really pretty with the wood background and some grays in it. We have another happy fall, y'all, truck. Again, shades of blue. So, I mean, blue must still be popular. Shades of blue and gray. Um, this is a really nice one. I love this one. It's one of the longer towels. And it is just covered in pumpkins. Oh so, yeah, I like that one. You're gonna, you're gonna really you find a lot of things yeah, to do. You're with gonna that. get a lot with that. Now, you guys were telling us that you like it when we show you 20 sets, like so you get 20 different patterns to pick yes. from. It's, it's a lot. So, um, you can get a lot of different crafting done. Sweet and delicious apples. Fill a bucket. Local farms open daily. Um, this is really cute. Really pretty too. Yes, our farmer's market had apples, peaches. Meet me at the pumpkin patch. We're really pretty gray and white plaid with some really pretty pumpkins and gourds there. And when you open these up, you do get that pattern twice. And then you get some uh, gray check pattern. So this is even fun to use as a background. Happy fall again with sunflowers and the black and white plaid. And this would look nice. I'm going to ask you, where's that black and white one with the sunflower on it? Right yeah, if you're doing any type of um, decorating, like how, how nice would these two look if you're making a matching set? Oh, Karen says so nice. Thank you, Karen. These would look great because um, it has the nice black and white plaid up here and on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So these would make a really nice set if you're doing some wall art. Uh, if you're doing anything for a wreath, these would look really pretty well, together. Well, that's what we tried to pick out, something right. you could mix and match right. maybe uh, as a set. My favorite color is fall. Who else is their favorite color fall? I know my favorite color is fall. Um, anybody else out there? So this is really a cute one with the leaves. I absolutely love this one. I mean, this... This is a great background. Oh, I like that one for a background also. You know, yes. you don't need to buy a sheet of... Um, Scrapbook paper when you can do some decoupaging with this. I absolutely love this. You have the nicest assortment. Linda Zimmer, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you very much. Yeah, I just, I love, look at the colors in this. This is so pretty. Diane Bobley, your favorite color is fall too. And so is Shirley Butler's, right? I know, I know. I just, I love this one. This is so pretty. I mean, this would look, look how pretty. Oh, that would I, I be love, very nice. Because it's got background. the different shades. Yes, like your yes. pumpkin has the different shades. Um, this is nice. I like that. I really well, do. Well, I'll tell you what. When we, we go to pick out the napkins, we just don't look and say, oh, grab this one, grab that one. We do put thought into it. Um, this is pretty. It says apples, gardening, autumn, fall season, pumpkins. It's got some pine cones. Oh, it even has a little bee on it. I didn't realize it had a little bee on it. So this one's really cute. And again, it's a big one where you get the pattern four times. Of course, Gabby and her birds. When we saw this one, we thought of my daughter, Gabby. Oh, yes. Oh, Christine just ordered the napkins. Oh, thank you, Christine. Thank you. Um, but again, look how pretty these are. A Gail Rudenbosch Bush says they're also pretty. The colors, just look at the colors and you get the pattern four times on this one too. Now, here's the other gnome one. I knew there was another one. This one says, hello, hello, autumn. And it matches. So this one says, hello, autumn. Let's see, you could make some fall leaves, different sizes. Oh, Charlene. Yes, yes we're going to, we're, we're doing leaves too. Um, God bless Fred. He's been very busy. We're doing leaves too. Um, so this one, you have your three separate gnomes, holding pumpkins, holding sunflowers that says, hello, autumn. And it matches this one exactly um, with that's the full sheet, right? But then this one also, happy fall, y'all, would go with them. So you could really um, have a lot of fun making your own signs. Uh, you could use wood blocks from Dollar Tree, the little the little frames from Dollar Tree. Uh, you, yeah, we're going to have some fun with that. 
And I'll let Grandma show you the last one in the... Um, oh, yes. She had to buy this one. I had to buy this one for all of you out there because this is just what you are. And I, what does it say? Kindness is free. Sprinkle it everywhere. Sprinkle that stuff oh, everywhere. Oh, I... You don't need the glasses. They're sitting right there on the table. Okay, they can sit. They can. They can. <laughs> They're sitting right there. All right. They can sit there. Right let them, there. Let them sit there. <laughs> Kindness is free. Sprinkle that stuff everywhere. You hold it there. So how cute is this one? Because our saying at the end of every show is, "Don't forget." Sprinkle a little kindness everywhere. Jean loves the bird and one. Also, Jean, I Nolan do too. Backyard. So you get that cute little saying four times. So that's really pretty. Oh, Teresa, perfect napkin. It is. Um, we actually, I, we bought, we bought multiple packs of this. We're going to include it in every. Uh, and, and, every and you know what I'd like to say that we do if we do more. Can I say a little thing? Sure. <laughs> I would like to say, actually. When you stop and think of it, there is a lot of kindness out there, and it comes from a lot of the kind people, and you don't hear much about it, but there is a lot of kindness out there. Well, look at that. My neighbor left me something in my mailbox. Is it, well, that was a kind act. Oh, absolutely. Right there. Now I have to pass it on. Oh, well, yes. Patty left a... me something very unexpected. I opened my mailbox and was yes. like, oh my gosh, it, this is beautiful. It's, it's nice. Hey, even if you pass a little smile along to someone that might be lonely. So now I have to pass kindness. it on. Okay, so that, real quick, real quick. Oh, thank you again for the stars. Um, that was our fall napkin assortment, 20 napkins. Halloween, we did shrink it down. You get 20 napkins, but only 10 different styles. We wanted to um, be a little bit more specific with Halloween. Not everybody is a Halloween fan. Um, I love Halloween, so I think these are really fun. Um, trick or treat, and look at the little puppy dog skeleton, which I'm going to have to show you guys. I'm going to have to pull out my dog skeleton and bring him aboard with us. Oh, my. Um, yes. Trick or treat. Smell uh, my feet. Bath, skeleton, and the puppy dog. So now you're going to get two of each pattern we show you. So you're still getting 20 napkins, but you're going to get two of each pattern. We just thought, especially with the Halloween, that the kids would probably want to do some crafting with you, the grandchildren and your, and your children. So that's why we thought, well, since the Halloween ones are like a lot of fun. Um, yeah, they're, they're fun. We thought that maybe we'd give two of each so that there is an extra one that the kids can do. Um, some crafting with. So here's the first one. Uh, when the crafters use that napkin, they will think of Grandma Jean. Oh, they will <laughs> think of her with that oh, sprinkle. Thank you. Okay, here's a, a number two. Um, since 1692, Witch's Brew, potion number, ooh, 666. Six, six. I don't want to say that too loud. Um, how cute is this one, though? This one is so adorable. And you do, you get it four times. But you're getting two of the Witch's Brew napkin. Okay? Hello, Barbara DeMattis. How are you? Oh, guys, this one is so funny. Look at this one with all the skeletons. Um, it looks like they're they're like drinking something and they're laughing and the, the juice is just going right through them because they're a skeleton. So two of that one. So we thought this one was fun. Well, you don't have to be a skeleton for the juice to go right through you sometimes. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hear that. I, I hear that, sister. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. I second that. I hear you, sister. I just, uh, you know, go ahead. Oh, boy. A little laugh. By the way, what's for dinner? <laughs> just wondering. <laughs> well, it's going to be a surprise. Okay. I'm not going to tell you right now. All right. <laughs> uh, this is another skeleton napkin. How fun is this one? He's coming out of a pumpkin. He's holding a pumpkin he's running he's dancing and this is like a full sheet so this is um, that's cool i love that yeah yes. i like that one too that that's a full sheet to do some crafting with um oh this is a fun one i think the kids will really like it's just it's smiling pumpkin smiling ghost witch's hat candy corn and again this is a full sheet so you get two of these um you can make small pumpkins like the start Joyce, Joyce, great minds, great minds. We're thinking of, so maybe we won't just do the acorns. We're thinking of maybe pumpkins, leaves, and acorns. Maybe, I don't know. We're, it's, it's a work in progress, but yes, yes, yes. I love this one. 
This one is so pretty, the black cat with the three jack-o'-lanterns and the moon and then the gold stars. Absolutely love this one. So again, two of this one and you get this four times, so actually eight. Um, Barbara, we are doing well. We're so glad you are doing well. We are doing well also. This is a great one. This is a great one. Oh, here's the front of it. So you get one giant jack-o'-lantern and then you get yourself more black cats than you uh, want. Oh, wow, that's cool. You, like this is really one. fun. This one would be really fun to do um, some crafts with. I did have a black cat run out in front of me yesterday. Did you? And really? I was like, oh, turn around, turn around and go back. And he did. He ran right. But maybe he had a little patch of white on him because well, I didn't have any bad luck. Well, let's so. hope so. <laughs> I didn't have any bad luck. Okay, look at this fun one. This one is fun. Um, Barbara says the napkins are cool. Aren't they cool? They really are cool. They really are cool. This one, I do think he's only on there one time, though. Nope, he's on there twice. So you have them here, flip them over, and you have them again. Um, so, yeah, this is really fun. Now, these would be cute on, like, a, um, well, obviously, hang tags. Like, uh, you could do a banner tag with any of these. But how fun would, is it the same, is it the same skeleton on the inside? Let me just double check. Yeah, like how fun would this be to put on like a long piece of wood and do a banner and a hang tag? I'm thinking I might have to do that, you guys. Okay. Okay, now my two favorites. I had to save my two favorites. Oh, isn't she sweet, you guys? Look how cute she is. She has her little witch's brew there. She's in uh, the, the one of the favorite Halloween colors, purple. Look at how tall her hat is. She is just adorable. I absolutely love her. Now, did you get her... You do. You get her twice also. All right, so then obviously you'll get four. Renee, you are so excited. You just ordered the fall pumpkins. Yes, girl. The pumpkin packs are limited quantities. Um, when they're gone, those specific ones are gone. Okay, same with Halloween and fall. Um, cutie, you're always asking me for girl gnomes. Fred is working on a girl gnome for you guys. Um, but here's a girl gnome for you. How sweet is she? And I then think she's adorable. How about this little guy? Happy Halloween with our Nomi. There's skulls, bats. He's holding a jack-o'-lantern. Look at his cute little purple boots. So uh, two gnomes in this in this pack, and I think there were four gnomes in the other pack. And again, lots of lots of uh, print, the same print. So you get two of them. So the kids would really have fun. Love the skeleton, Denise. I know the skeleton's too funny. Halloween um, are your favorite. Fall and Halloween. Yeah, fall. Who was that? Um, Joyce. Fall and Halloween. I always have loved Halloween. Absolutely loved Halloween. Maybe because I worked in retail for like 20 some years um, as a buyer for JCPenney. Uh, so Christmas time was like horrible. Like we started Christmas in November all the way through like New Year's, it was just working 60 hours a week. So Christmas was never my favorite holiday, but leading up to like that November 1st, Halloween, you know, September, October, always my favorite holiday. We always dressed up, um, always had lots of oh, fun. Yeah. Still do, still do. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we hope that you did like our spindle uh, pumpkins, our little shorty, and then Miss and Tall the here. Yes. So there are two different sizes and shapes when you do look at them online. Um, and you can get them with the backer board that shows you where to put all of your pieces, or you can just get the spindles and everything else separate. So that's your call. Um, but we hope you had fun. We really enjoyed crafting these. They did turn out really pretty. I do like them. And we did want to just show you our napkins, give you a little sneak peek of what's to come next week with fall and holiday or fall and uh, Halloween. No, not holiday, fall and Halloween. Um, we're going to really try and, and give you guys some more great items that y'all love. So thanks for joining us. Grandma Jean, want to sign us out? Well, yes, uh, we want to thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed it. We enjoyed being with you. And we enjoy your comments. And we thank you very much for sprinkling Noman Backyard. And also, don't forget, sprinkle a little kindness along the way. So until we meet again, take care. Because it's free, right? Like the napkin says. Oh, yes. It's well, free and it's everywhere. Uh, I'm not going to add that. <laughs> we'll just sprinkle a little kindness along the way. Oh, let me see. Deb Howard, um... It loves everything. Charlene said she had lots of fun with us today. Oh, Charlene, we are thrilled about that. 
Um, yeah, guys, I'm just loving, I'm loving this orange pumpkin. I really am. Thank Goodbye, you. Teresa Hall. Have a great evening. Yeah, I just, I love this orange one. I really do. All right, guys. Well, I like the other one, too. I really do. Well, we could trade. I, no. We could, well, it's like switch back and forth, I mean. We could take oh, turns. Oh, okay. Like, we could take turns having them in our room. Oh, okay. All I right. do like this one very much. It's very mm. natural. Yeah. Very natural. I like it a lot. All right. Have a great day, everybody.